Hello, hello. Welcome to uh, me baking with the squatch. Uh, we, uh, this is day three of the blood orange mead. So what we're going to do today is we're going to, we've already cracked it open here and have a look inside and smells, smells very good and you can see the pulp and stuff all around down there. So uh, what we're doing today is we're going to, uh, we're going to uh, degas it and aerate. Um, we're also going to take the oh, losing the drill. Um, take a hydrometer reading and uh, make sure that uh, we're chugging away nicely. Although I know that we are, because the airlock is just going gangbusters. So and. I've also have been forgetting to take a pH reading, so I'll be doing that today as well. Um, I'm just going to be using some uh, standard uh, strips here, pH reading strips. Uh, what we shoot for is a 3.7 to a 4.6, so as long as it's in that range then we are good to go. So first things first here is uh, we're going to get the uh, drill here. I'm just going to tighten the chuck real quick, so bear with me. Alright, so we got the, that in, and in there it goes. And I'll put the hydrometer in there so we know how much need to put in there. We will bring this guy over and we will let it fill up. Some nice lovely must in there. And there we go. Yeah, eight six. So I will write it in my notes here. One point zero eight six. We're done with this guy. We will grab a little tasting cup. We'll put some in there. We'll put the rest of it in there. And just the pH strips will be next. Sorry for the camera angles and all that fun stuff. So we have a strip and it is starting off as a turquoise-ish color. And we will just tap it in there real quick. And it's coming out to a greenish. So it's about. Oops, there it is. So it's about 3.2 to 3.6. I'm going to call it good enough for now. I'm not going to worry about it too much. It's a uh, meat is fairly robust thing. Um, if it drops much more than that, then I will. Uh, uh, add some stuff to it to raise raise the pH back up again. Um, but as it is, it's borderline, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. So uh, got a nice little the sample cup here. Definitely has a yeasty uh, smell to it. Um, yeah, give it a sound taste here. Very, very sweet still. <clears throat> not, not too cloying though. Um, has a little, def definitely can taste the wahila honey. Definitely can uh, taste the orange in it. 
still, so that's good. That's, uh, that's what I want. Um, unfortunately, the color is lightening up quite a bit, so we shall see what happens, what color it finally comes out as. Uh, but at this point, if the flavor hits, then uh, I will worry about the color and uh, how I can adjust it later, if I adjust it at all. So, uh, yeah. So we need to do a little bit of quick math here as well, because we got the... Uh at 23 percent so <clears throat> we are waiting for the one-third sugar break which is 33.33333 percent so uh, probably another day or two and that'll be the third sugar break the one-third sugar break and that's when we'll add the uh, next batch of the nutrients so uh, Check in tomorrow. Cheers.